And this is Mailbag 8-ish. There will be one package that contains a lot of packages. The other package, which I pretty well know what it is since it's from Amazon. And there's this other package right here that, of course, I've already opened. And I'll just tack that information on at the end if it's worth putting in there. So, to start off, let's go with the easy one. It rattles. There should be some capacitors, tantium, and they put the label in, okay. But tantium capacitors have almost none. Figured I might as well pick some up, mainly because I needed to beef up the order a tiny bit to get the free shipping from Amazon. And in here we have... Some integrated circuits. Uh, I wanted to pick up uh, some of these 74HC um, and get the hex inverter uh, to stick it back into that uh, coal pits uh, oscillator working uh, with maybe up to 20 uh, megahertz. We'll see. This one I'm probably going to have to pull right off to the side because it's probably got packages upon packages inside. So let's just pause for a second. And yes, uh, that one package contained five packages. And I'm going to start with the big box. Which is well taped together. Uh, this is one of the hazards with AliExpress is if you make an order and you follow up with another order maybe say a week later sometimes what they do is they combine them and your first order which would have come earlier doesn't holy cow ah, let's just do this the easy way and empty Some cherished packing material. Ah, I know which order this was. Okay. You out of the way. Got one of these for cleaning the tip. Uh, the only thing is, is I ordered this before I ordered my new soldering iron. Oh well, I'll use it eventually. Got one of those. Um, the price on these was pretty good. I'll just uh, link it in here somewhere. And the uh, strange thing is, is I had lots of uh, females and none of the males. And then I also picked up. Oops. I have to put that back together. Some uh, little breadboards. I uh, can't have too many of them. Uh, Essentially, I only have a couple uh, that I bought recently, and I have some other ones which are so yellow, it's ridiculous. Then I picked up some tweezers, which was a waste of time and money. So I doubt that these ones uh, will be able to take um, the heat from the soldering iron. I'll try them out, but after I saw those ceramic-tipped uh, tweezers, I think I'll be ordering some of them. And, strangely, I don't have one of these. I've got an old mechanical one with no digital display. Ah, drat, no battery. Uh, but I do not have an electronic one. So, eh, slide's pretty good. Mine was wobbly. So, I'll try that out in a bit. Oh, these are the um, go with this. I picked up a couple of those power um, rails converters. So, essentially, you hook up the battery to them, or your power supply, 
my case I tend to like to use a battery if I can cuts down on noise so basically this goes in like that preferably one that's there like that apply power it converts it all over and then you have, I believe this is plus three point three should have uh, plus five I'll have to look up the specs and I'll stick it on here somewhere picked up a couple of those I thought I picked up three of them but uh, I've got two and I picked up some of these nice oversized LEDs. I'll try to fire one of these up uh, and I'll probably just insert it into the video. But it's for a project that I want to take an old uh, gas Coleman lamp that would use a uh, white gas or naphtha or whatever they want to call it and turn it all electric because it's a lot cheaper uh, applying a tiny bit of electricity versus constantly buying fuel for it. So, let's see what's in the next one. Ah, just components. I'll put on here, up there somewhere, who I bought these from. These... Ah, okay. Um, inductors. I actually picked up an inductor kit a little while ago. And I lost it. So I picked up some more. And also some surface mount uh, inductors. And these are... Two two one. So probably two hundred and twenty micro Henrys. I'll probably correct myself up here. So, there. Oh, just more parts. some diodes Zener diodes uh, kit so I've got lots now some more 0805s uh, inductors uh, capacitors and some more capacitors more capacitors. Oops. Let's st stick with the capacitors. And more capacitors. And also some uh, SOT23 transistor kit. Um, I have the through holes kit. And I figured I'd pick up a surface mount kit. Uh, so I can continue to horribly solder with those ones. But I am improving. And oh, right. Um, I'm going to have to go check the sheet to see what all these are. Okay. Uh, load cells. I saw these on another channel and I decided to pick up both uh, 1k, 1 kilogram and a 5 kilogram one. These are the associated A to D cards uh, that go with them. Now, I didn't actually buy these just for this. I think these actually, and I'll probably be correcting myself, are 16-bit 
um, analog to digital converters. If so, I'll have some other use for them. Uh, this is just a straight uh, nano clone. I figured I'd pick one up and see if they actually work. And this here is a battery capacity uh, tester. Uh, so the idea behind it is you hook up the battery and you can actually see the capacity of um, that it'll take. And as I said, I would uh, hook up one of these LEDs and it is very bright. They're listed as being super bright and that I think will fit the lantern quite nicely. Oops, I guess I should turn the light back on. And now the smoke test. Yeah, uh, this thing's not going to withstand any heat. And I was going to use these for surface mount uh, placing. I'll be purchasing the ceramic tip once. And one package almost got away. Ah, some more capacitors. And they didn't even bother to write on it which type, what the value is. Oh well, very fine tip uh, probe will tell me that one. And one more thing. Um, reason I got these um, capacitors is because when you get those other little kits, they tend to go up to about one microfarad and stop. They got lots of the lower values, but nothing above that. So I figured I might as well get these. That way I'm well stocked and they have lots to play with.